All right, guys, it's Phil from Cleveland Moto, and boy, do I have a fun car for you guys today. This is the 1999 Isuzu Vehicross, or VX. This is a really, really cool car. Premiered at the 1997 Tokyo Auto Show. Just went crazy. It's one of those Japanese cars that actually made it from prototype to production, and it didn't change a whole heck of a lot. There's actually a spare tire in that hump on the back, believe it or not. It's fantastically cool. Such a cool car. Now, this is powered by a 3.5 liter V6. That's an Acura motor, 24 valves, really neat. And this particular car has only 124,000 miles. So it has been lovingly maintained by an Isuzu, uh, VHS or Via Cross enthusiast. And I mean, we're telling you, this guy loved these things. And the Iron Man is the hard one to get. The Iron Man is the most limited production run of the very short Isuzu Via Cross run. Only 1999 and 2000. So very few of these were made. It's a very, very low production car by any standards. Super neat really beautiful i mean 16 inch wheels from the factory the big chromes all that stuff is stock none of that stuff is aftermarket that's just the way it came now this does have an added class 3 hitch on the back so a big box hitch on the back for you something you're probably uh probably familiar with and what a great off-road adventure car package it's so cool i'm going to pop the hood on it real quick so you guys can see what we're talking about uh when we talk about that big big v6 engine that's in there and let's go take a look and see what we're working with here because this is pretty special so there we have it there's that v6 brand new interstate battery we like interstate batteries here at cleveland moto it's one of our favorite things if we're going to put a battery in the vehicle we're going to put a good battery in the vehicle uh, 24 valve motor that's really neat now this thing's not a super powerhouse now we're not we're talking about maybe 215 horsepower but boy does it move it gets up and goes really nice and this is the torque on demand traction control our system for four-wheel drive so that four-wheel drive system is literally you just go and the only switch you have the only control you have is four low or four high so it's a really really neat system to give you some Give you the maximum control over the vehicle so let's go take it for a ride and check this thing out because it is a lot of fun so everything fires up the way it should abs light goes out right away super cool it's asking me or telling me to put my seat belt on 124,088 miles again this car actually comes with a factory stereo the factory cd player everything is stock on this thing the air conditioner works great and what we really like about this is because the previous owner was such an Isuzu uh, Via Cross enthusiast, he's had several of them over the years, this car comes with a bunch of extras. It comes with all kinds of extra cool stuff. And like we said, this car, this comes with a brand new serpentine belt, brand new water pump, ready to go. So let's take it out for a ride. So really a super stable, super easy, fun car to drive around. It doesn't beat you to death like a lot of four by fours I've had. It is very comfortable. Now this has been upgraded with the Jeep shocks in the back. So the uh, rear suspension has been tuned up just a little. Uh, it also comes with a set if you want them airbags. So it does come with some airbags as thrown in, so to speak. Lots of room in the back seat. You'll notice we took the back seat out. Uh, I have the back seat. It has the same red and black trim that we see on the driver's seats and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the windows up because it is a little noisy with the wind noise. Uh, you guys don't need to hear that. All right. And we will kick the AC on just because, hey, what the heck, we got it. Let's use it. Um, now, about the back seat. Really, to get into the back seat on these things, you had to be a contortionist or a small person, that, and I'm not. And we don't have any kids, so it's better for me to have the storage area in the back than it is to have the seat. Seat goes back in with four bolts, no big deal. But uh, we got the seat taken out just to give us some more space, make the car a little more practical. Uh, set up really nicely. The tires aren't new. The tires are old, but they've got tons of tread left on them. I would say unless you're going to do anything really aggressive with them, they work just fine. The driving of the Via Cross, it's just a car, man. There's nothing special. It has a full frame, so it does have a truck style frame. It's not just a uh, monocoque or unibody construction. It actually does have a full frame, so it has excellent off-road chops. 
and the torque on demand system works really well. If you get into the deep stuff, you can go ahead and switch into four low from four high. Uh, it is four speed electronically controlled automatic transmission. So it does go down the highway with no problems at all. You wanna hold 80, 90 miles an hour, it's, it's just fine to do that. Uh, it's smooth, it's quiet, it's a really pleasant vehicle to drive. Uh, it is nice. And I know the inside with the you know, faux carbon fiber interior and all the Iron Man goodies that makes it an Iron Man, the Recaro seats. Uh, yeah, I know it's a little ridiculous, but it's really nice to drive. These seats feel fantastic. They feel great. The steering wheel, leather wrap steering wheel is really nice. Everything about it is just that higher trim level and uh, really cool setup. Now down here, I'll call your attention to, we have buttons down here for the power and for the winter. So this is kind of a cool thing. Uh, the power button really does move your shift points out. So power button, smash the gas pedal. Here we go. Yep, and there you go. It doesn't shift until about 6,200. And it'll get you right up to 60 miles an hour, just like that. That's the power mode. Now in the winter mode, it's softening it up so you're not getting as much wheel spin. So it has winter mode, it has power mode, super fun, super cool. Uh, when you're using these things, you check out the little torque on demand meter, it's fun. It shows you how much power is going to your front wheels. Uh, so when you smash the gas pedal, it dumps a lot of, uh, a lot of those little LEDs light up in green for you to let you know that you're getting a little more power look to those front wheels. Super cool. Uh, it's a pleasant car to drive. The AC, it's a hot day today, humid, and the AC is just really doing a good job keeping us cool. Uh, the recirc works when you throw the recirc on. It really turns up that AC power in here. Really, really nice. Went through all the safety stuff, turn signals, everything all works just fine, lights all work. We reconditioned the lenses so they're nice and clear and bright. Uh, went through a lot of that stuff, did the linseed oil for the uh, plastic work around the body to kind of renew it without getting into the greasy kid stuff or any of the chemicals that are gonna dry it out. Underneath now, I normally fluid film these cars and I didn't fluid film this one because this is a New Mexico car. It's whole life, it's been a New Mexico car. So the bottom of it is just beautiful. Little red dirt, that's fine, but uh, never been in the salt, which we love. If you're gonna have this car and it's gonna be your winter driver, please do yourself a favor and fluid film the bottom of it. Let's keep this thing around for another 25 years, make everybody real happy that we're not rusting out or causing a, uh, a via cross to meet an untimely demise. Again, braking, straight as an arrow. Like, I love that. Uh, super great test of a well-maintained and well-cared-for car. Uh, 124,000 miles, that is not at all a problem on these engines and been maintained really carefully. The guy that I bought it from is a super sweetheart guy who loved this car. It was more like adopting a pet than it was buying a car. He had me there for hours going over every little protocol with this thing. So we really like this one and I'm happy to offer it to you and I think you're gonna have a great car and a lot of fun if you buy the 1999 Isuzu Viacross. And remember folks, it's Cleveland Moto, so you gotta ride fast and take chances.